Hello and welcome to Bitcoin for Beginners Part 4. Now we left off in the second half of Part 3 talking about the market price of Bitcoin and some of the ways we can buy and sell this virtual asset. In Part 4 we're going to talk about cloud mining, what it is, where we can do it, and then my final review of whether it's profitable or not. But before we get started, we have to announce the winners of last week's free Bitcoin giveaway contest. I want to first thank everyone for participating. So many people entered the contest, it was unbelievable, and it was so much fun interacting with all of you. Like I said before, this will be a great opportunity for you to apply what you've learned in these videos with your very own Bitcoin. So the contest involved a share link, which I had asked you to use when resharing this video. The results are in, and it is now time to announce the four winners that will each receive $15 in Bitcoin. And the winners are Soul Rage Page, Tusingresso Internet, Chris P, and there was a tie for fourth place between Ernesto Del Fred and Alexander Parson. Congratulations everyone and thank you for participating if you missed out on this contest we're having a free bitcoin giveaway contest round two in this video but instead of share links this time we're going to do something a little different that i think will be more fun and interactive for everyone and like always anyone can enter and anyone can win but before i get into the video contest details let's get started with part four of the bitcoin for beginners video series Cloud mining or cloud hashing. What is it? Where can we do this? Does it make sense to even do it? These are all great questions and they actually came from you guys. Now some people can't afford to buy their own mining equipment, especially when it can cost hundreds or thousands of dollars. Or maybe they just don't know how to run the equipment properly for one reason or another. So cloud mining is essentially buying the power or the hashing speed that a mining rig generates. So you're not actually buying the physical computer and the parts and the components. You're buying a portion of the speed that the mining rig is mining at. Think of it as a car. A car can go 100 miles per hour, but it's going to cost you $20 to go 1 mile per hour, and therefore $40 to go 2 miles per hour. Now with a car, you'd be paying for the distance it can carry you. But with cloud mining, you're paying for the speed at which you can mine Bitcoin at. The more speed you buy, the further you can go, or the more Bitcoin you can make. Now let's apply this to a mining rig. Let's just say I have a super mining rig and you want to cloud mine with me. I've decided to offer mining speed to you at 1 giga hash for $20. So you can pay me $20 to have my machine mine Bitcoin for you at the speed of 1 giga hash per second. Now that's yours, and whatever profits it makes is yours to keep. So that sounds pretty good. You don't have to pay for any of the equipment, but you're now mining Bitcoin at 1 giga hash per second using the cloud. However, a car needs gas to keep moving and a mining rig needs power to keep mining. So instead of only paying me $20 once for the one giga hash per second, we will enter into a contract together, like a cell phone contract, which you will have to renew on a yearly basis, or however long I decide it to be. Now my contract basically says that I'm letting you borrow one giga hash per second mining speed from me on a yearly basis. So that means you will need to renew this contract and pay me $20 a year to have my machine mine for you at the speed of one giga hash per second. Now, not all cloud mining companies are like this. Some allow you to buy the mining speed for a one-time payment, and some offer smaller monthly payments. After you purchase the contract from me and you agree to my terms, my machine will start mining for you and you can sit back and collect the Bitcoin it mines. This is called cloud mining or cloud hashing. Let's quickly take a look at some of the popular cloud mining companies that we can choose from. Now the first one that I'm going to show you, and these are in no particular order, is cloudhashing.com. Now if we go to cloudhashing.com, we can just click on personal contracts, and we can see the contracts that they're offering us. Now they have a silver, gold, and platinum contract. Now their silver contract is a one-year contract. Their gold and platinum contracts are two-year contracts. Now let's just take a look at 
at this silver contract. The silver contract is for four gigahashes per second, and it's a one-year contract. Now, this is for $275 that we need to pay them up front. Now, if we do the math on that, $275 divided by 12 months is $22 a month. But we're getting four gigahashes. So divided by four, they're charging us $5 per gigahash. So these are the numbers that we would want to really make sure we understand before we get involved with cloud mining and cloud hashing. The next company I want to show you is MinerCloud.com. Now we can just go to MinerCloud.com and we can scroll down on their main page to see which contracts they offer and for how much. Now just like CloudHashing.com, MinerCloud has three contracts as well. They have an $89 per year, a $139 per year, and a $329 per year. And we can see how many gigahashes per second they're offering for each price. Just like we did before, we can do the math again. So here's my calculator, and I can do $89 a year divided by 12 months. That's $7 a month for one gigahash per second. Now, it's just a few dollars more than the previous company I showed you, which was five, but this is a smaller upfront cost. It's only $89, and we could order multiple contracts. CEXIO is by far the most popular cloud mining platform out there. Now, if we look at the Bitcoin hash rate distribution, GHashIO, which is CEXIO's pool, that we can see that they have 28% of the total mining market. So they're really big. Now, CEXIO works very similarly to the other companies I just showed you. They offer contracts, and they offer contracts by the gigahash per second. So their prices are a little bit higher. Now, we can see that they're offering their gigahashes at 0 0.07 bitcoins. But how much is that in U.S. dollars? Well, today, I can just go over to Coinbase and type in 0 0.07 which is equivalent to $48. So they're charging $48 a gigahash, whereas these other companies are offering gigahashes at $5 and $7. Now, this company, CEXIO, does allow you to buy and sell these contracts, and you can terminate the contract at any time. So they do offer you some added flexibility. Another benefit of CEXIO is they don't only mine Bitcoin for you. You can cloud mine other types of virtual assets. CEXIO is more expensive, but they have a calculator that will allow us to estimate our mining profit. So let's take a look at that. So here's the CEXIO estimate your mining profit calculator. On the left hand side we can put in our parameters and on the right hand side we can see our payout schedule and our monthly profit. Now these numbers can be confusing and let's go through them one at a time. Hash rate. This is the amount of gigahashes per second that we're going to purchase. Now remember, on CEXIO, right now, each gigahash is worth $48. So that's pretty expensive. So let's only purchase one gigahash per second for $48. Maintenance fee and pool fee is at 3%. Those are reasonable numbers. We're going to keep them at 3%. Now, network stats, current difficulty. The current difficulty is 90835. They've just rounded some decibels. But the difficulty increase per month isn't going to be as high as 50. Now remember, the higher the difficulty increase per month, the less amount of coins that we're going to make. So we can just quickly look back at the difficulty history and see what the difficulty increase percentage has been for the last few months. And we can see that it's been fluctuating between 20, 29, 32, 41, 46, 30, 16, 28. So I think a reasonable number to put in here would be 35%. Now under conversion, the conversion rate right now is not $142 for one Bitcoin. 681 for the price of one Bitcoin. Now the conversion increase per month is asking us what percent increase is Bitcoin going to be worth each and every month. So let's just leave this at zero because anything positive in this in this box here will be just better for us. So let's assume that the price of Bitcoin is going to stay at 681. We'll click on calculate and we can see now we have our numbers in the right hand side for the mining payout schedule. So under monthly profit we can see that the first month we're going to make 0 0.02 Bitcoins then 0 0.01, then 0 0.01, 0 0.01, but by the fifth month, 
we're, we're not going to make any more Bitcoin. You can see that we, don't, we no longer will make Bitcoin after five months by only purchasing one gigahash per second. So let's first figure out how much 0 0.04 Bitcoin is today if the price does not increase. Let's go to Coinbase, put in 0 0.04. Now, 0 0.04 is only worth $28, but it cost us $48 to buy one gigahash per second. So in five months, we haven't even been able to make our money back, let alone make some profit. So this is one of the reasons why I'm not a big fan of cloud mining, because you would have to keep purchasing gigahashes every month or however quickly you want in order to try and make your money back, but you'll never actually get the money back. Now this may be because CEXIO charges so much money per gigahash, and it might be profitable if the gigahash per second that they're selling wasn't $48 and was only $10. Now this is one of the reasons why I have decided not to go with CEXIO. However, if I had to choose a company to cloud mine with, I would choose cloudhashing.com. To me, they're kind of like the underdogs. They're the smaller guys and they offer a better price per gigahash. Now, there is one thing that I do want to point out and that's their terms and conditions. Now, under their mining product, in their terms and conditions, they break down the percentages that they take from your profits. We collect 10% of the Bitcoin you make for management fees for operation of the pool. They also collect 30% of the Bitcoin we make, which is reinvested in to their mining rig. So this is something to consider, but even still that they take this much out of our profit, I would still go with them because their cost per gigahash is so much lower than CEXIO. So remember, cost per gigahash is the key to cloud mining and making your money back and then making a profit. Don't forget to factor in all the maintenance fees and any hidden costs that might be associated with each company. Now, for those of you who want to participate in my free Bitcoin giveaway contest round two, here's how to play. Step one, comment on this video in the comments section below. Step two, like the comments you see from other YouTube users. You can like as many YouTube comments that you want to. The top five most liked comments from different YouTube users will receive $15 in Bitcoin. I will send you the coin in two weeks to any address that you specify when the contest is over. The contest will end on December 31st, 2013. So like I said earlier, I think this will be a lot of fun and it will put the contest in the hands of the YouTube users because you all will be deciding who should win the contest. If only a few people like other people's comments, it's going to be extremely easy for the top five comments to win. In part five, I'm going to go over online shopping with Bitcoin and what types of goods we can buy and where we can shop online using our Bitcoin. So make sure to subscribe and I'll be seeing you in part five. Good luck.